Good evening, everyone. Welcome to the stream. Uh, this evening, maybe I will not be alone. I will have a colleague, flying fellow pilot flying with me. Uh, Mr. Reaper uh, is going to be... We're going to be flying the... Um, uh, Balkan Theater again, and uh, this time on the on the Dead Strike and a flight package. So it will definitely be, um, it will be so we'll be escorted by uh, by those tornadoes ADV. Um, so yeah, let's see how it goes. For now, we're still preparing the mission. Uh, flight plan is already prepared, but uh, we're kind of settling things up before the actual multiplayer connectivity and tests. So bear with us a couple minutes. Uh, we'll put on live the Discord channel where we are at currently. And um, yeah, if you have any questions, uh, don't hesitate. If you want to jump in too, um, you can on Discord. Nightbot will be surely able to give you the information. There we go. So bear with us a couple minutes, a couple seconds before. Uh, all right, so we can start preparing the flight. Hold on. And there we go. Channel is live now. Okay, so tell me when you think the installation is okay on your side, and I'll send you the connectivity details. You can do that now. I, I'm loaded, and it says 4.33.3, and Balkans is loaded. Okay, so hold on. I'm going to send you the information. Uh, private channel. All right, hold on. I just need to check if the before you try anything, let me just check if the uh, IVC server is up. Okay. It is. So it should be working. Uh and now I should create the multiplayer session. Doesn't want to do anything. Oh yeah. Uh Fortunately, I saved the campaign, but I need to log in the comms before. Um, there we go. Connection established. All right, so you should be able to connect now. Okay. 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 Meanwhile, I load up the. Um, do you use a weapon delivery planner or not? I have. I don't use it consistently. I need to, but uh, because this is probably the best tool to prepare anything to prepare the missions, obviously. Okay. Uh, let's call this. Okay, I haven't done this in a, like almost a year. Connection bandwidth. Should I leave it at ten twenty four? Um, the th the thing is, uh, what's your upload? Like six gigs. Okay, so put it like two max, so two twenty forty eight. Two zero four eight. Yeah, two zero four eight uh, on the connection bandwidth. Uh, and the IVC server, you should put exactly the same IP as the one I gave you for Falcon connection. Okay, eight six. Sorry. I'm say <laughs> <laughs> I was going to say if you could avoid saying it out loud. <laughs> Not that I'm. Well, I I have the um for well. I I the IP does change every week, so. Okay, here's my question: Do I need to add the periods in on the server or not? 
Um, no, 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 no. You just you just need uh, it's already just sub numerals. Yeah, it's already subdivided except for the IVC server. There, you need to put the dots between each okay. and every number. And there's no password? No. Okay. You better save it before you do anything. Otherwise, if, if any crash or whatever. Oh, yeah. See you now. Okay. Hold on. Bear with me a sec. I'll just test if the IVC connection is working fine. Uh, let me know if you hear me. Uh, the keys are F1, F2, and F3 on... A falcon and uh, definitely you need to be focused on the on falcon screen to hear it okay max on f1 you hear me yes oh yeah all right okay so ivc is working fine Okay, that was okay let me pull up so right now i'm pulling up uh hold on so meanwhile i'll start the campaign Hold on a sec. That's okay. So commit online. Okay, I see it. There, and I hold. So we'll be on on the package twenty three one twenty two. Okay. Twenty three one twenty two. What's that again? All right, yeah, there I go. Uh, nope. Okay, so now I'm loading up the uh, weapon delivery planner. Um, what I can do is actually I can, there are two options. Um, I'll probably send you the my export of weapon delivery planner so you can get exactly the same load sheet as I have. And and I'll send you the .ini file so you have exactly the same information. Okay. Okay. Uh, meanwhile, if you see my screen on the stream, probably I'll I'll brief you up with weapon delivery with weapon delivery planner. Okay. What's happening? Doesn't want to put the full screen here. Well, never mind. Maybe here will do well. Okay. Yep, it's working now. Alrighty then. Um, let me know when you see. I should be seeing the screen right now. Well, there will be a couple seconds. Okay, I see your screen on your stream. Okay. Um, all right, so we the flight will be in will be Panther One, and so uh, I'll take the lead. You take number two, and this is a four ship uh, flight. And in the same package, we'll have um, the four tornadoes escorting us. Uh, what's going to happen is that if we check the map and the threats in the vicinity, um, I'm going to clear up the threats. Okay, the active threats is the SA2, obviously, because we need to suppress it. Um, so yeah, nothing, nothing much to say. Apart from that, the flight plan is pretty much straightforward. We'll be departing from Amendola. Uh, the thing I don't have, I haven't checked, is the hair threats we have in the vicinity. Um, let me switch back to Falcon. Uh, it says enemy cap aircraft likely to be operating in the area. Yeah, yeah. Um, 
So let me check what we have. Uh, what we could do actually, we could check the ATO. So let me reshare the Falcon screen. Okay. So if we check the ATO, no, not the ATO, but the uh, Order of Battle. Uh, okay, and if we check the Air Force, uh, there is a lot of airfield with, uh, with, oh yeah. Let me check the most, the most threatful ones. MiG 29A, find. Ah, uh, yeah. So. On Banja Luka, there is a there's a group of 29A Alpha, uh, MiG 29, MiG 21 F. Where is this one operating? This one is pretty far, so I don't. I I think those guys mostly will be. Uh, will be yeah. The 29 A's might be a threat. The 21, I don't think so. Uh, those guys will definitely be a threat in Silipi Airport. So we definitely have 21 bis that will be a threat. So I'll add that to the um, rules of engagement. So we'll have 21. So if we have the 21s, uh, the minimum range with those guys is, if I recall correctly, something like. 15 nautical miles. Okay. Some, some, something between 17 to 15. You need to engage them or or directly go def defensive. Otherwise, it's going to be... Um, well, we, we're not supposed to engage the, the any threats, uh, but we never know. Yeah. We, we have to be aware of any threats in the vicinity. Um, we have J-22, but those guys are, are air-to-ground attacks, so I don't really... We have G-4s, those guys, I don't really care. Those guys are pretty, pretty far up, so I wouldn't bother much. Again, G-4, uh, J-22, but that's, that's also ground attack, so I wouldn't, I wouldn't bother. ME-8, nope, Sarajevo, those are transports, yeah, Su-25, uh, where are they, oh, okay, I don't know where from where they're operating, but St. Paul, alright, okay, uh, Tivat, oh, okay, Tivat, I, yeah, so Tivat again. I think this is this one, I'm not sure. Status, CDP, no, Tivat, I think Tivat is along the coast, I can't remember exactly. Yeah, it's between uh, steel point three and 5. Yeah. Oh yeah, there, yeah, exactly. Tivat, yeah. Uh, where is this one? This one is a, yeah, uh, yeah. This one is, is really, could be a threat. Depending where... Um, I guess this is this one, Tulsa. Yeah. Um, let me bring up the ruler. Uh, it's, yeah, it's it's a pretty long way for them. So when they'll detect us, we know we not we can't stay too much in the vicinity. Uh, but we have to take we have to bear in mind that they are kind of close. In, in like less than 10 minutes they could be on zone okay okay and those 21s i wouldn't bother um so the 29 a alpha uh so both mig 21s and and the 29s alpha um they are uh fox one and two um, so they shouldn't be, <clears throat> there are not a major threats, uh, regarding that, but for the MiG-21A, um, 
uh, you need to engage them. I think, if I remember correctly, it's uh, 19 to 20 nautical miles. Okay. Okay. Uh, so I'll write that down. All right, and uh, that's about it for um, for the for the threats in the vicinity. Uh, meanwhile, hey Max, give yeah. me uh, two minutes. I'll be right back. I yeah, no worries. Okay. Okay, meanwhile, we're checking the uh, SA2. So this guy, the fan song, is the most important and vital piece of outdoor with the SA2 because this guy is definitely the one doing the tracking system. So this is the uh, unit that uh, allows, well, enable the missiles to be pulling up to your location. So this is where you need really to be careful on that. All right, um, what do we have left? Okay, so we'll need to gather. So let's, um, I'll check the fan song as a threat. Let me check again the flight plan. What is, is number seven, so the, yeah. I'll get waypoint number seven. What I'll do for now is I'll calculate for now the bingo. So let me pull up the calculator. Um, okay. So we have 50 plus 108 plus 10 10 22 let's say 30 30 plus okay plus 40 198 uh, so let's take 200 okay Max are you there yep I was calculating the um, bingo uh, I just looked at your stream and you, you don't appear to be broadcasting any sound just so you know oh really yeah It should, actually. It should, actually. Okay, yeah, Droko just uh, confirmed he can hear what's going on, so... Okay. We're good. All right. Um, okay, so um, let me pull back the weapon delivery planner to continue the um, uh, the briefing, and then I'll share the file with you. All right, so calculation brings up uh, bingo fuel of four four thousand five hundred, and a joker of five thousand five hundred. Um, as we are a bit too heavy, uh, I've reduced 
slightly I mean really slightly the uh, the amount of fuel so that shouldn't be much of a of an issue anyway um, meanwhile uh, let me recheck the uh, information from the airbase okay <clears throat> Amendola just to be sure because last time we had uh, like the taken is not correct if I remember correctly um, it's definitely not the right one let me pull up the information from the uh, campaign itself the documentation uh, Navage Amendola uh, yeah taken channel is 99 x-ray so so I don't know why but it's, it's definitely not correct so I'll change that directly in the uh, in the um, DDC um, yep so information I have as the uniform channel is two three four decimal five zero uh, the Victor channel is one one eight decimal two zero Okay. Uh, taken channel is 99 X ray. And there's no ILS. Runway is 1129. Elevation yeah. 180. Okay, so I'll save that directly in the data card. Okay, saved. Oh, so you're co streaming now. <laughs> Yeah. All right. Um, so what we'll do now um, is I'll send you I'll send you the information. I'll send you the dot any file so you can have it and uh, and add some the information on top of it. Okay. Uh, I need to find the correct timing on this one. Yeah, this is it. Let me send it to Discord. Okay, I got my data card set. Okay, I've sent you the init file. I load that directly and um, I loaded it in Falcon so I know that it's um, yeah now I see the uh, threats I see the threat circles all right so now we need to uh, we need to check the um, Do you know how to deal with the SDBs, or you? Yes. Need... Okay. Yes, I can drop SDBs. Um, okay, so I need to put this into my campaign folder. Yeah, you need to put that in your campaign folder, in the in the campaign save folder, and you just load up the data cartridge in in the Falcon interface, and the uh, SAMs and all the informa basic information should be uh, already okay. pre uh, pre filed. All right, so I need to go back out to Okay. All right. So now I'll be focusing on the. Uh, I'll be now doing a recon on the target area. Okay. So AC two side. No. Yeah. Seventh Air Defense Battalion. There we go.
Okay, how do I load this in a sim? I put it into the folder. Uh, you just have to get into the data cartridge icon and and and, and uh, just press load. Ah, uh, got it. No mind. And you'll see it work. It's working if you have the threat circle popping up. No, I don't. It says de load OK. Doesn't want to load up? Man, I click load and it says loaded OK, but I don't have any threat circles in the tower frequency of this set. Uh, maybe it's because it's um, maybe it's because it's uh, loading up in the profile dot in so maybe you need to do it maybe you need to do it you need to do it manually it's possible okay well all right well the only threat circle I have is uh, over the weight steer point seven is the sa2 threat uh, steer point that's all okay got it I'll do that all right so I'll Read the there's um, I'll check the uh, now I'll do uh, a quick recon. So what I'll do is let me know where you, when you were. Uh, I'm ready. I got okay. the threat circle and the uh, frequency okay. loaded. All right. So the so I'm I'm just doing the recon on the target area. And uh, what I'll what I'll use as tier point number seven is the fan song. So I'll designate the fan song as tier point seven because this is the most important one. Okay. Okay. And uh, then I'll swap directly to steer point number 15. And then I'll start uh, lining up all the SA2. So what I'll do is I'll take the in the list. I'll take the first three. Okay. okay and I'm waiting for the list to pop up real quick. Okay. Come on, Falcon. Okay, there we go. Finally. Okay, so I'll take the first, the three first uh, launchers as uh, tier point numbers 15, 16, and 17. Um, I will advise that you take the three others on the same tier points. So the last three of the list, I say twos. Okay, so now I'm at zero point seventeen. Uh, what I'll do, what I'll do is I'll get the spoon rest as zero point number eighteen, and um, what can I do? We have eight SDBs, um, so I've already have one. Yeah, I think I have enough now. I can't deal with much more. Like have uh, 15, 16, 17, 18. Oh yeah, I can have three more. Then I've got the fan song. Um, 
Where was I? Okay, so the spoon rest will be 18, yes. And then for 19 and 20, uh, I see there are some... Uh, there are some trucks, actually. Uh, I was wondering if the... if yeah, everything is like... Yeah, go for the ZPU on your side and I'll go for the ZIL. Okay, got it. Okay, so 19... 20... 20... and 21, okay. Yeah, say 2s, and then 18 is the ZPUs. Okay, got it. Okay, so now that's fine. Let me, so now let's go into the data cartridge and check if everything has been set up correctly. Okay, so seven. Spoon rest in there. Okay, zil, zil, zil. All right, so it's from 15 to 21. All right, so I've got everything. Let me check the comms. UHF, VHF 15 are on the right frequencies. Uh, let me just check with you, you uh, Victor 1, just to make sure that we have the same frequency, as we'll take this one as the internal comms. Um, Alright, so Victor 1 is 138.050. Say that one more time. One. One three eight decimal zero five zero for Victor One. Okay. okay. All right. So yep. So now I'm going to save the data cartridge. All right. Okay, so it saved. Okay. And let me check the loadouts. Yeah, the loadout is a bit too, we're a bit too heavy. So yeah, I'll put us to the limit. All right, so with what we carry, max Mac number is dot nine five. Max speed is 600 knots. G limit, uh, limit is six five. Negative is minus two. Drag factor, well, obviously, will be heavy because we have so much bombs with us and the fuel tanks, so it will be 232. All right, and we have an ECM pod with us and a TGP. Uh, as, uh, yeah, so if you check the, um, if you check the, the payload we have, so we have two Fox 3, Two Fox Two, eight SDBs, two fuel tanks, and one jamming device. Okay. And we're at twelve one nine four on fuel. Yeah, we're a bit below. Uh, on fuel, I've I've set it to twelve zero thirty one, so we can have a gross weight within acceptable parameters, because otherwise we're too heavy. Okay. Uh, I don't know. Uh, well, j just just. Exit and re-enter the loadout, and maybe it has changed now. Yes, okay, yeah. Uh, all right, okay. Let me check the briefing if there's nothing else we need to know about that. Um, all right. Okay, so we have... Um, we have some threats, uh, like we have OSA-2 and SA-6. Um, mm -hmm. close to the location so what we'll do is um, the SDB I think we can launch them like uh, 50 nautical miles from the uh, away from the target area so we'll try as much as we can to stay outside the circle and whenever we launch some SDBs we can do like 2 or 3 pass so don't don't try to enter the, the threat circles unless necessary. 
because okay. that we definitely have the distance we want to um, to get into the uh, the threat area. So I wouldn't bother too much about that. Uh, as long as we have, we can we can definitely reach those guys. Make sure you save the data cartridge because otherwise it's going to be a hassle whenever you're trying to uh, to aim for each and every <laughs> location of the SAMs. So yeah, make sure yeah, it's. Um, Make sure you, you save that, that data cartridge correctly. I've saved it about three times, so we should be good. Yeah, all right. Okay, um, about the departure procedure. Um, we'll be departing. I don't know. It we, we'll dep depends. I think that the started procedure will brief depending on the active runway. Uh, well, actually, I could look at the winds. Uh, 180. Uh, so it's probably going to be the uh, runway to, I don't know, maybe 29. Oh no, maybe not. I think it's 1129, as I said um, before. So probably it's going to be the runway 11, but I'm not sure. It depends on the wind. Um, okay, so conditions uh, fair. So we should have a pretty good view. Uh, we'll try to see if the TGP is a good help. Uh, to identify the targets in the vicinity of the, th of the target area. Uh, we have to be careful and stay high uh, during the, uh, the, f the cruise flight uh, because obviously we have some, uh, some enemy boats crossing the Adriatic Sea. So obviously we need to stay, we need to stay high, not to be engaged by any uh, surface to air defense system. Okay. And we'll be pretty heavy, so I guess we can take something between. Um, let me check the flight plan information. Uh, flight plan says 22, Angel 22, but probably in flight, uh, depending on what fuel we have, and I guess it will be okay, we'll go higher if we can. Just to say safe. Uh, for the departure, I'll brief you up uh, once we are in cockpit and connect. So for the procedure, um, we we connect. So you do you do the start your startup procedure, and uh, once you've loaded up the DTC and uh, and the uh, the the, uh, the um, UFC um, in, um, information, uh, the first thing you do is once you've started up and ready to communicate, you'll do a Victor check. And uh, and then the two communication in the departure will be uh, the first time a Victor check, and then you you ask me on Victor. Well, you brief me on Victor if you're ready to roll or not. Anyway, I'll we'll we'll stay in touch through Uniform. Uniform 15 will be our first frequency on the ground, as we'll communicate with the tower. Uh, so stay on fig uh, uniform 15, and during all flight we'll stay on uniform six. Okay, so, let me just verify again the frequencies for uniform 15. Yep. Hold on, I'm popping up the um, data cartridge stuff. All right, so uniform 15 frequency for uniform is two three four decimal five zero zero. Okay. Okay. Uh, Victor for tower on on Victor fifteen is one one eight decimal two zero zero. Okay, got that. Okay, and just the last check on uniform six should be the one by default, but it's three four nine decimal zero zero. Got it. Saved. All right. Okay. Um, there we go. I don't think there's on a, anything else I need to brief for now. Um, what I'll do is anyway I'll pop up single SDBs. So I won't I won't uh, launch them uh, by pairs because we have to assess one that target at the after the other. And apparently, or alternate airport will be Gino Lisa, 
which is okay. like a couple nautical miles away from our main airbase. I see. Um, let me let me just check the frequency if it's correct or not. I have some I have my doubts because weapon delivery tends to be not really up to date. Um, do, 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 do. Shit, I forgot, I forgot the name of the... Gino Lisa? Uh, Gino Lisa, yeah. Gino Lisa and Tacken for Gino Lisa is... Oh, we can have... I'll, I'll write it down so we have it. But for Gino Lisa, we have a Taken of 105 X-Ray. Um, what other information do we have? Shoot, it disappeared again. Hold on a sec, I kind of lost it. All right, okay, so 105 X-ray. And um, frequency for the tower is only on Victor, and on Victor is one two zero decimal one zero. And the runway is a sixteen thirty four. One two zero decimal one zero. Yeah. Robin. 1634, okay. There we go. That's about it. Okay. All right, so let's move to the uh, BS, BMS Flight Ops channel, so we're not disturbed by anyone popping up. All right, I'll direct you to the Chakark channel. All right, I got it. All right. Okay, so I'll mute myself, and, um, and the comms will now be purely on IVC and unless you have an issue. All right, let's roll. Uh, take off ramp. Great, take off ramp. Check in if you can hear me. I do hear you. set up correctly. There we go. There we go. And the lights. Okay. All right. Battery test. All right, to successful, and then now main power, and let's start up. Oh shit, forgot the uh, comms. Oops, 
something went bad. Okay, reverse recommitting. Let's hope it's not too bad. All right, twenty percent. All right, engine pulling up. I think we're aiming for a good start. Once we have power, we can start the uh, systems procedure. All right, system seems to be powered up now. Okay. Sentry one, radar contact, full side. One zero zero, thirty miles, twenty-five thousand. All right, so. Stand by HMCS. Oh, degraded Chaffler. Okay, Chaffler systems are now up and running. The ECM is connected. Uh, we need to have the diamond float stuff end off. Yep, now it's working end off. Okay, art point, FCR, radar altitude to standby, MFC, MFD, UFC, UFC, data link, GPS, and starting alignment procedure. Barometer is barrow. Fuel tests. Correct. HUD. Power it up. Probe heat tests. Correct. Detection, fire detection. Correct. Oxygen quantity. Correct. Yeah, if it wants to pop down. Okay. Pull up. Altitude. Warning. Gamma. Light tests. Counter. Cat flare. Yep. Out. Lock. Okay. Seems to be fine. Then we'll have the EPU gen. Air, and then we wait for the green lights working. Okay, and let's go for the bit test. Hey, if I found where's the hmm, can't remember correctly. Yeah, we'll see. Let's see if one of those knobs do something now. All right. Uh, self test. Maybe that it, that is the bit test I was waiting for, or maybe not. Now that's the bit test, I think. <laughs> okay, so let's wait and see. Sentry one, radar contact, both side two eight zero twenty miles, eighteen thousand. Okay, so then let's load up now the uh, data cartridge. And 
and um, yep, I can now load up the uh, switch to UFC. Okay, uh, uniform 15, uniform uh, Victor 1. So let's now ask a few information to the tower, like the Q and H. All right, so just below standard. Uh, take off runway. Runway 11. Runway 11. Okay. Runway 11 for takeoff. Departing almost east. Okay. And now we can pour on or put to CRM since the radar bit test is over. And yeah, the bit test has succeeded, so now I can go to test. Clear that out and make sure no alarm comes back. F act, nothing displayed. So that should be pretty much guarantee that we're okay. All right, so now landing lights on, just to mention that I am ready to roll. Contact the wingman on uh, Reaper on Victor One. Let's see where is he? Or if he's if he's running. Okay, alignment is okay. Let me check the information I have here. I'll put a bit of of information here so that a link. So we have all those guys here, and we'll put two one, two two, two three, two four there. That should be about it. And uh, let me check if I have any other information. Bingo is set correctly. We'll do the toss stuff. All right, departing time is two o'clock thirty seconds. What do we need to check else? The INS stuff, well, we're ready in the line, so we can go for navigation on. Volvo, one, one, ready for departure. And our call sign is Panther, one. Panther one leader on, on Victor one, check. Panther 1-2. Position and hold. Panther 1-1. Taxi. Runway 1-1. Logo 1-3. Taxi. Runway 1-1. Alright, so I'll ask for taxi. Panther 1-1. Ready for 1-1. Requesting taxi Panther, to runway 1-1. Taxi. Runway 1-1. Logo 14, taxi, runway 11. Printer leader on Victor 1, check. Printer leader on uniform 15, check. Still not up. Nine minutes before takeoff. Logo one one. Amendola Tower. Clear for departure.
Penta leader, Victor Check. I give him a sign just to see if he's okay. Penta leader, Victor Check. Penta leader, uniform check. All right, what's happening? Logo Fury, Logo Fury, Reaper. All right, last row. And the powered up is light, so I guess it's okay, but cannot make any contact with him. Logo 1-3 Cannon Dola Tower Clear for departure Penta leader, uniform check Penta leader, Victor check Logo 1-1, one, one. Tower. Logo 1-2, Tower. Reaper, if you can hear me, I can't hear you on the Victor or Uniform channels. I can hear you, but I obviously can't speak. Okay, so I'll I'll continue using the Victor and uniform stuff, but you can communicate through Discord in this case if you can't. Yeah, I I get it said and I'm trying, but I can hear you, but I'm trying to respond, but it's, you're obviously not hearing me. Yeah. Okay. Two is ready to go. Okay, so Penta Leader and Victor rolling uh, runway one one. Enter flight, taxiing runway one one. Enter one three, taxi runway one one. Enter, just behind. on the right. Counter one four, taxi, runway one one. The middle tower, wind check. Panther one one, one check. Alpha 1-1, one, one. Okay, so as expected, there's a bit of crosswind, so we'll do uh, separate takeoff, so you still line up with me on the runway 1-1. Uh, one, one. Alpha 1-1, 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 one, one. Alpha
and um, you will depart, you'll do the, your run up and take off once I uh, call for um, lift off. Track IR has stopped working, so I'm with up. Okay, understood. Okay, nice checks. Enter flight at holding point runway one one. Panther one one, ready for departure. Taxi runway one one. Hold short. Holding short, Panther one one. Panther one one. Panadola Tower. You are cleared for takeoff runway one one. Panther one two. Panadola Tower. You are cleared for takeoff runway one one. Enter 1-1, one, one, clear for takeoff runway 1-1. One, one. Okay, so Reaper, we will li I line up on the right side, you'll line up on the left side. Roger, take an active left. Alright, so departure will be gate position. Uh, you will be departing when I call at for liftoff. Um, at 360 knots, go back to buster position and uh, you'll do direct a uh, left turn to towards waypoint number two. Alright, Panther 1 1, run up. And there we go. Enter one, one rotate. Enter one one is airborne. Two rotate. Counter one two. Canandola Tower. Please zoom on navigation. Counter one three. Canandola Tower. You are cleared for takeoff runway one one. Okay, initial and right formation.
Okay, were you able to power on the uh, RWR? Because that last time I got hold up because of the I couldn't find the switch. So I don't know what the switch is for the RWR. Okay, so the RWR, if you want to power it up, uh, it's on the EW panel, but just like close to you know, you see the the little wall you have the gray metallic wall you have on the on the on the right side of the ew panel you have a small switch just just at the limit of this wall just over the rotating mode just be be just above that there's a small switch got it and if you want to enable the end off mode on the rwr you need to press once the mode uh just left from the rwr um uh, screen. Roger. Okay, so I reduce power to 92, so you can, um, you can join. So in blue we have our flight, and uh, we'll see the other flights in um, in yellow. All right, forgot to mention to put uh, two one, two two, two three, and two four in the data link on position five, six, seven, and eight. Okay, Panther Flight switching to Uniform 6. Panther Flight, Uniform Check. Flight uniform check. Two check. Roger that. Yeah, I forgot to mention to pull back to standard barometer. Okay, I'll stabilize to gain speed.
Okay, flight, go, f go gate if you need to regroup. Start the alignment process for the SDPs. Yeah, Reaper, start the alignment process for the SDPs if you wish. Uh, won't change the estimates. Yeah, we only have those types of uh, bombs. So, yep. Alignment process is starting. Cool. All right, so I'll leave now the after-ground page and switch back to I'll reduce a bit uh, RPM so they can actually stack up with me. Set this one up to one zero five X ray. Okay, waypoint three. If you wish to check the wingman's view, then in this case, go directly to Reaper's channel. Uh, it is currently streaming, so enjoy having two parts of the same flight uh, from different views. Thank you for the follow, people. I know one one other person has uh, followed. Thank you for following. I'm sorry, I'm not really following your chat since I'm really fo focusing right now on the uh, on the flight. But yeah, thank you. I'm checking your view on my on my mobile from your switch from your Twitch channel. <laughs>
Alright, so let's go and get an extra. Oh, there we So thanks for following. I see you're slowly coming back. I see you're slow slowly coming back. You forgot to uh, bring in the boards. Yeah, that's why I have Weapon Delivery Planner on uh, on the other screen. miles we have left before 67 miles so uh, we'll go fence in 20 nautical miles before uh, before the next white point Um, that's mostly probable because you're not a follower for now. Um, but what we'll do after the flight is um, we'll we'll up in the general channel and um, and if you have questions and everything, don't hesitate. We'll uh, we'll uh, we'll have a s short talk after if you wish. more than happy to share thoughts and everything on what we've seen today. Don't hesitate. Alright, 40 nautical miles. That's a bit of uh, 
of navigation we have here. So for now the fuel is, uh, I'm checking my screen, my lower screen is 93, yeah 93 so that's uh, that's okay for now, that's okay. We still need to monitor that. Yeah, so thank you Mr. P P Mr. Pop Tarts <laughs> and Lower at Tuz. I don't know if you're um, I'll check if I can resend. I don't know if the OBS is working correctly. I, I tend to have some issues with the uh Okay, so flight is in place. Everything's running up correctly for now. Um, I think we need to. Um, the thing I'm a bit. Um, I'm, I don't see the others, to be honest. I'm a bit scared because I don't see the other the tornadoes actually on the data link, except if they're not equipped with data link, which could be the case actually. Check if everything line. All right. The bid test. So I didn't screw up anything. Yeah, seems to be fine. All right, my SDB seems to be aligned correctly on my end. Spike SF five one o'clock. Yeah, you're cut when you speak on Discord, probably because the uh, push to talk doesn't work well. Switch on my mic. I have stuff going in the background, trying not to have you hear my kids playing. No worries, no worries. Oh, there we go.
Okay, I think we have the friendlies just in front of us. They just pop up on my data link. Yeah, confirmed. I've got tornadoes just in front. Over the... well... 12 o'clock. FCR. 24,000. I. Okay, Panther Flight, fence in. Two in zero seven seven. And Panther Flight music on. Okay, switching flight um steer point number five. Four, plus three long. First three medium. Two, go Two, go Okay, we've got a bit of activity, so three, we'll do We'll go for waypoint number four and do holding there because for now I see some threats and I don't want to be in the middle of that. So we'll do a uh, left four, pattern three, starting waypoint number four. Amber, one two, engaging bearing zero three zero, fifteen miles, twenty three thousand. Three, pit bull. Mayday, Mayday, Evan down, Bullseye, 135, 220 miles. Cowboy, Charlie shoot. Mayday, Mayday, Evan down, Bullseye, 135, 220 miles. Set up webcast. Bogey's 11 o'clock. Amber, 1-2, engage. Alright, so break formation, engaging. MIG-21 BIS. Amber, 1-2, engaging, bearing 0 miles, 24,000. Century 1, Panther 1-1, one, one, declare. 21's diving south beneath you. Century 1, Visual. Panther 1-1, one, one, engaging, bearing 035, 2 miles, 17,000. I see a splash, splash on the tornado. SA6, SA6. Engage. Going defensive, going defensive. Launch. Cat flare. Cat flare. Cat flare. Okay, I've got this guy. Lock. Fox two. Fox two. Three. Engage. Altitude. Altitude. Got a splash. Flare. I've got some launch everywhere. I'm I'm pumping that I'm I'm evading, evading. Going thouse, going thouse now. Three, engage defensive. Got a missile inbound. Cat 
Flare. I'm going back to waypoint three. Blowing west. Got a twenty one on my back. Okay, I'll ask the other guys to engage what they can. I'm leading, chasing, following you. Yeah, you're leading me. Three, four. I'm kind of surprised that the uh, tornadoes were that early on the target area. That's why they got. The, I, I think they, they got shut down by the ESA two at some point. I had the twenty one, but I lost them. Uh, I think I got one actually. All right. So circle where you are. Go uh, left and go for left circles on your position and I'll I'll start my ground my ground engaging pattern Roger circling steer point four all right so now we go for one out there all right. So yes, kind of horizon, kind of horizon to see if I've got any threats. For now, I got nothing except the SA5 uh, in the vicinity. I right, big twenty one locked on me. Yeah, there's multiple groups with um, closing to the uh, two and three. Uh, sorry, three and Fox four. Fox three. Two. Fox three medium. Wow, that's a lot of contacts I have there. What are those? What are those? Declare. Shit, your wax is down. Splash one MiG 21. Did you get any information back from the AWOX? I'm targeting something, I can't have any. No, I got nothing from AWOX. I got second. Make 21. Visual confirm, make 21. All right, releasing the first SDB on the main on the main target. Roger. Fox 3. Two, Fox 3 medium. Alright, I'm just uh, wait a bit to gain more. Yeah, I think the altitude is enough so I can that launch directly. AC2, yeah. Mud Spike AC2 launching. Bruiser. Bruiser. Alright, so now let's go to waypoint number two. Two hit. Ejecting. 
Shit. Cowboy. Good shoot. Mayday. Mayday. Bullseye. Loser. 435. 220 miles. Loser. 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 Panther. Loser. Set rest camp here. Shit. Loser. 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 Okay, I'm naked now. Caution. Caution. Yep. Okay, yeah, tech targets. One, attack collateral targets. Bullseye, 130, 240 miles. Two, we'll go. Three, we'll go. Loser. Loser. Okay, let's just go air to air and defend Loser. what we can. We now got nothing on the RWR, but it will scan again. Loser. 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 All right, so they're launching Loser. what they can. Loser. Loser. What is it? Three. Loser. Shit. Sentry one. Loser. Sentry one. Panther. Loser. Three. Yeah, too far. Two. Okay, so let's check what we have in front. Close to our friendlies. Got no wave box. Buddy's one, one. Spike, okay. Lobo, one, one. Spike. Lobo, one, one, four. Spike. Okay. Got the wingman. Alright, those are friendlies. Ah, uh, maybe we can check with the TGP what's happening. Shoot! Lost me, okay. Say six just behind, yeah. They're on the coast. Yeah, he's targeting me. Shoot. Air to ground. Can't go to air to ground, yeah, because I'm not air to ground right now. TGP. Stand by. Air to ground. Alright. So let's go for point number seven and go to stir point and see what we got there. Um, yeah, nothing for now. I need to check sometimes what's happening here. Where to where? Here, where to ground, okay. 20 miles, 40. What's happening here? Contacts here, what's that? Buddy spike. Buddy spike. Alright, I think I'm teasing too much the uh, SA6, I need to be careful. I hope, I definitely hope for now. Um, that everything, that the threats are processed. Panther, one, three, good hit. Panther, one, three, good hit. All right, so that's uh, some sort of relief. <laughs> wow. Yeah, we've got the Zero airfield just behind.
Mercer Zero steer point. Yeah, good smoke. Yeah, I see smoke. TV, yeah. Black hot. Wow. I think we did a massacre here. Definitely we did some uh, good hit on targets. Those are buildings. Okay. We can definitely get out now. So let's go waypoint chain directly. Gain some altitude. And yeah, we're almost bingo. So we definitely have to climb and... Um, yeah, I think I said launch the uh, Fox 2. Yeah. Yeah, I think I'll um, exit, go fence out, and once I go fence out, I'll exit to uh, lobby and see the result. Okay, Joker. That should be fine. All right, another SA6 popping up. Uh, this is probably a ship. All right, okay. Let's stop the climb here and tell everyone to get back to formation. Rejoin. Panther one, rejoin formation. Panther, 1-2, on my way. 3. Yeah, 1-2 is still active because basically 3 became 2 and 4 became 3. Everyone has uh, processed the target or sort off. Okay, so we can definitely start and go fence out. And at least ECM off for now. Let's go fence out. Fence out. Two. Fence out. There we go. Three. All right. That's about it, I guess. All right, so we can exit, go back to lobby, and chat with Reaper. All right, there's a bit of crosswind.